The latest news on the home front, rather disturbing. There's a new report which finds more than 95,000 U.S. homes were foreclosed on last month. That is the most since the mortgage crisis began. Meantime, more than a third of people in this country tell a new poll it's okay to stop paying your mortgage and to just give up on your home, at least in some circumstances. Here to take a look at what all of this means is Fox Business Channel anchor Stuart Varney. Great to have you with us this morning in the okay. studio. More and more Americans, so 36% in this poll said, you know what, it's okay to just walk away. Why are more people finding that it's okay to shirk that responsibility? The housing situation is so bad that it poses a moral and an economic dilemma. You and I have always been taught that you take out a home loan, you pay this mm -hmm. thing. You don't want to get thrown out of the house. You have a moral obligation to pay. Well, the situation is so bad for so many people that they're ignoring the morality of it, looking only at the economics of it, and leaving without paying off the mortgage. For example, suppose you've got a $100,000 mortgage, but the house you own is now only worth 80000 mm -hmm. You're in the hole to the tune of $20,000. You're paying into an asset which is going down in value. You're losing money, the opposite of what it's supposed to be. So people say this is a black hole, I'm not going to pay into it. But, you know, as, as a rather astute person uh, here, Patty, in the studio just said to me, you know, that almost sounds like when you buy a car, as soon as you drive off the lot, you know the value drops, but you can't stop paying that car loan. Right, but that's not been true historically of houses. Uh, throughout our history in America, you buy a house, you pay into it, you're going to get richer because right. the value of the house goes up. It is not a car that goes down in value. Is there ever a situation where it makes sense for a homeowner to walk away? Sure, if you can't afford it if you just don't have the money. The underlying problem, Erica, is surely that we've got a mass unemployment problem. And as you lose your job, you exhaust your benefits, you literally cannot pay that mortgage. So you're almost forced to walk away, but you pay a price. You can't just walk back into the right. mortgage market. You're excluded for a few years. Uh, there's also, and we're seeing more of this, as we just noted the numbers from August, foreclosure rates are up, I believe, 4%. Yep. Uh, do you expect to see that trend continue? I, I would hate to see it stay as bad as it is or get worse. You just mentioned that statistic, 95,000 last month. Now, that was bank repossessions. That's not a mere letter in the mail saying you're going to be foreclosed right. on. No, that's a knock on the door and your furniture's in the street. I would hate to see it get worse than that, but you know, it might. Because there are so many foreclosures, so many homes for sale on the market, that prices are falling, which puts more people underwater, right. so more people walk away, so the housing situation in the immediate future is not likely to get better. It might get worse. And just give us an idea, how long does it take to go from the point where you stop paying your mortgage in general, to the point where they're knocking on your door and saying, everything out, you're losing the house. Well, it depends on your state, depends on your lender, depends on your ability to negotiate, but you could probably stay for a, a year, depending on the state. It's a frightening scenario. It is. It's, look, it's ruin. That's what it is. And your heart goes out to these people. It does. Stuart Varney, really good to have you with us. Thanks for your insight. Oh, thank you, Erica.